What's up, y'all? This is Jeff Lysa Jr. here with the Ball Sports Network. And right now, i like to get to an interesting topic that was kind of heavy in the last few days. And it's the talk of Blake Bortles, the Central Florida quarterback, being the number one overall pick all of a sudden. You know, after the season was over, the subsequent season, college football season was over last year, the projected like order of quarterbacks to be drafted after everyone had declared was Teddy Bridgewater, Johnny Menzel, and then Blake Bortles was number three. Now, all of a sudden, there's a sudden urge, like Blake Bortles has shot up the draft boards, and all of a sudden, not only is the first quarterback, but will most likely be the number one overall pick. Now, I find this interesting because how in the world, after the season is over, does he go from number three to number one? I mean, nothing has changed besides the fact that Teddy Bridgewater had a sub subpar pro day and Bortles supposedly excelled. Now, if, if pro day is all that matters, then, then, then okay, drafted number one. But the tape is what... You go off, right? Game tape. Pro days are routes on air and footwork and, you know, just little intangible stuff that nobody really, I mean, I guess they care about a lot nowadays. But the tape, game tape, is what I thought football was all about. Playing games. Not about what he can do when nobody's in his face. What he can do when his receivers are not being covered or anything. Now, I mean, I would... <laughs> It's not that I'm hating on Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles is a good quarterback. But let's just look at the stats. In the SEC, Johnny Manziel had more touchdowns, more passing yards, and a better quarterback efficiency rating than Blake Bortles. And Teddy Bridgewater, in the exact same conference Blake Bortles was, had more touchdowns, more passing yards, less interceptions, and a better passer rating than Blake Bortles. But all of a sudden, because he is 6'4", because he is 235 pounds, and Teddy Bridgewater is only 6'3", 208, and Johnny Manziel is barely hitting six foot, 200 something pounds. Because he has the prototypical size, like an Andrew Luck, like a Ben Roethlisberger, is the reason, and because he had a good pro day, is the reason why Blake Bortles is now the number one pick? That doesn't even make any type of sense to me. I mean, if anything, we should just go off the tape. Oh, a lot of people say numbers can be skewed, miscued, whatever. Okay, let that, uh, let all that be said. But what about the game footage? Him, his in-game, like, play. Now, the Central Florida did have the best season they ever had, and they even beat Teddy Bridgewater in Louisville. But uh, with all that being said, Blake Bortles still doesn't wow me. In his games, he... He just, to me, he's not better than Menzel or Bridgewater. He should be the third quarterback taken. And I personally would never take Blake Bortles at the number one overall pick. You let me know what you think. Comment on the video on, on the Facebook page. Subscribe to my YouTube channel once again. And let me know what you think. Because, I mean, right now I'm flabbergasted. I'm confused on why he should be the number one pick. You let me know what you think. Once again, my name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. with Ball Sports. Thanks for listening. Peace.